Hello and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, Arms Against Tyranny. I am going to be playing through as Sweden. And the goal of this run is to really make Sweden an international arms dealer, um, to expand my industry as much as I possibly can by selling arms to anyone and everyone. Um, as far as a greater strategic goal, um, I, I haven't played with this new Swedish focus tree yet uh, in this new DLC, so I'm not too sure exactly what direction we're going to take. Looks like there's only one option to start off. This is a big tree. We got a lot here. Yeah, so only one option to start. We'll start with the Defense Act. Um, as far as my bigger strategic goals, I think I'm going to lean uh, common turn, but we'll kind of see how it goes. If we get some events playing one way or another, uh, or if something starts to look extra interesting, I might swing that way as well. Got some good generals here. Always happy to have a, a four skill general to start off with. Not great on the field marshal front, but we'll make it work. And being early in the game, I think civilian factories are the way to go. For military factories, let's just get our infantry equipment up and running. And I'll just put all of these productions to max, get the uh, pre-built ones underway. Uh, as far as picking a country goes, I didn't want to do Sweden because it seems to be a pretty popular one for people to play through. Um, but it made the most sense for my goals in this playthrough. I like to do countries that are not as, uh, you know, your standard World War II powers. Um, and Brazil and Sweden are probably the two most powerful of the, uh, I don't know if minor nations is the exact right way to put that, uh, but non-traditional World War II countries. I just did a playthrough as Brazil prior to this DLC. Played through Sweden on my own, never on the YouTube channel. Um, started playing through Finland just to familiarize myself with the DLC a little bit. So I wanted to try Sweden. Um, they've got a focus tree I can go through. Let's see here. Winter expert could be great. Let's actually hold off on the uh, field marshal traits. Speed it up, see where we can go. So I'll be exploring the focus tree a bit. Um, playing definitely with the uh, military industrial organization mechanics. Uh, being that Sweden is going to be a country that has a lot more industrial capacity than manpower. More manpower than Finland, but uh, Finland now in this DLC has some pretty sizable bonuses through focuses and whatnot. All right, so let's read through what we've got here. We completed the National Defense, or the Defense Act. Government recommends rearmament. So here we get war support, a reduction in infantry equipment costs. And we get some cost changing laws. Um, we can keep per Albin, which reduces our political power, or we can increase our research speed at a hit to stability. So I think the direction I want to go here is the research speed. Um, we'll take that research speed modifier, get us some better tech early in the game. And uh, let, let's see what other focuses this opens up. We've got urbanization. That looks really good. Um, just to start with some more economic focuses. Nordic Defense Council is the only one over here. Um, and the next is, oh, we've got continue the second industrial revolution. So that looks solid. But then we have a uh, focus on the old enemy stirs. I don't know if I want to go down one of those mutually exclusive paths yet. Government weapons contract. This is going to level up our military industrial organizations, and I do want to play with that. So let's go for it. What is this one? Okay, that's a scorched earth button. Interesting. I haven't actually used that before, and I don't know if that's new to Arms Against Tyranny. I think that's just an existing feature I haven't used. The early years are always a little hard because there's not much going on. So, oh, we can assign one. Um, yeah, let's let's start working with this uh, Mio here. Gives us a little production efficiency cap. Um, but more than that, it gets them some funding and they'll start leveling up sooner. Already have some gear on the market. Um, I'm not going to buy any. I'm focused on expanding my own industry. Still trying to wrap my brain around the uh, 
Oh, what do we got here? Raiding fleet. So yeah, let's just assign this stuff. Is there actually a cost to it? I don't think so. I don't think there's any downsides to using that. Um, it will give us some bonuses and get some funding going for those organizations. Now, where do I actually view those uh, just on their own? It's not officer core for sure. Uh, is it in here? Let's see. Rhineland remilitarized. We've got that government weapons contract. These are military factories. Ooh, this is going to increase another one of our um, military organizations. We can seize Landsberg. This is interesting. So this is kind of a collaboration with Germany area. That is a lot of uh, bonuses we get here. So I'm going urbanization. I think that's what's going to give me the best uh, bang for my buck here. So we've got a really quite a few organizations here. We only have Saab for air. Um, we've got battle line shipbuilders and a raiding fleet. We have pretty solid orgs for uh, all of our military equipment. We've got one specialized for armored car. That's interesting. And then for tanks, we have fast tanks. Um, not sure if that's what, what I'd choose to go for. Maybe we can, uh, as we level them up, customize them a bit, get them going a different direction. Now with these focuses we have going on, we're going to be expanding our industry, I would think, pretty clearly, pretty quickly. Um, should be able to get these moving so we can start to um, build up some more. I'm leaving the military back for now because I want to get that strong civilian base established. So the Minister of Trade, not ideal, suffragette. Um, it's going to be more stability penalties we've got 74 percent stability but i'm not ready to commit to losing stability right now let's just keep going into this uh research path so that we get um get more of that research speed going and continue to get further ahead that's going to compound on itself as we move on just looking through our um different national spirits here so we have yeah risking strikes or rights if our stability drops below 65 percent until we get 40 civilian factories that is a lot all right neither of these are right for us right now i need to save that political power once i can i'm going to um get a head of the army so I can start to um, get some experience going there. Let's just get destroyers. Uh, I'm sure they'll be useful at some point. I feel like I rarely have enough screening ships to fulfill what I need. Humble appeaser. Stability and war support. That could be useful. It's not the most exciting, but it could be useful for us. And I'm just going to stick right on this industrial path. Now we've got urbanization. That's even more civilian factories for us. Hygienic housing. Resource gain. Interesting. We got radio. There we go. That's that's going to so far align us with democracy, but it looks like we can switch that to align with other ideologies and work projects for the unemployed. All of those are pretty solid. Um, now, if we allow Landsberg to operate independently, we can get some tech here. We can get off-map factories. We can get funds for um, our Landsberg company. But then we will lose... Um, 
we'll lose those if we go to war with Germany. Now, if we seize it, that's going to have a heavy stability penalty. We can't absorb that right now. So let's go with... Um, hmm. Husqvarna's interesting. But maybe I'll go with uh, hygienic housing. That'll increase our civilian factory construction speed. And resource gain efficiency. And then I'll start to expand through the country. Or, you know, let's go. Let's just get the uh, stability bonus right now. And we'll take that later. All right, got another election. Um, first, let's just get some military factories building so we're not wasting any capacity. So this is going to increase our um, stability, improve political power gain. That's going to be useful at first. Rearmament. Here we get uh, some more war support, improve our production cost for infantry equipment. Or we can just leave it how it is. I think I'm going to leave it how it is for now. Because if we look at our research, we've got some solid bonuses here. Um, we've got our export focus. We've got that uh, 6% from our government. And then 3% from tech. We're going to keep rolling on that. And hopefully we can get some of our uh, industrial organizations working on research as well. Let me see. I, I didn't actually see those icons pop up anywhere. Yeah, here we go. So it must just be what we're working on. We don't have uh, organizations for that. Now, I think a fighter is going to be useful, um, especially as an export product. And also with that, we can start getting Saab moving. I want to see them level up and uh, get, get some bonuses for our planes that way. We can change our industrial concern. Here we go. Now I've got some political advisor options. Um, Mobilization is not an option yet. Oh, I did want to do... Can I add a chief of the army? No, I don't have the command power for it yet. And our war support is zero, so that's going to take a while. Um, just looking through these real quick. Special Envoy is pretty solid uh, if we want to do anything intelligence focus. The Financial Expert looks good. Humanist is interesting. Interventionist Firebrand. That's a lot of modifiers here. So we can send volunteer forces. We get attack and defense bonuses. We can send them sooner. That's that's an interesting one. Let's go with uh, financial expert right now, just to take a little bit off that uh, consumer goods requirement. So there we go. That's going to continue increasing our... Um, Industrial base. Let's see what poverty reduction and defense above all look like. So a pretty clear split here. And these don't lock the ones below them. It can be either or. So we can just choose one of these, but we have to choose one uh, of these two. Actually, Husqvarna could be good here just to get another... Um, military factory, especially if we're planning to do the exports, like I mentioned. If we want that to be a priority, we've got to get a few more factories going. Don't even have enough uh, material to equip our own troops yet, let alone start exporting. So let's see how Italy's doing here. I saw some people it, uh, on Reddit talking about how Italy was losing to Ethiopia. Doesn't look like that right now. Uh, looks like it's maybe taken a little longer than I saw pre-Arms Against Tyranny. But they are still driving into Ethiopia. There we go. Yeah, they're, they're making progress on the capital. I don't think they're going to hold out too long. So we have a combined arms expert here. Everyone is just an expert. 
Um, oh, this is military high command. I want, let's see. Chief of the army. Yeah, we don't have the points for most of these yet. We're getting there. Um, training time, experience gain, division organization. I think that's the one I'm going to go with. And with that, we can start um, gaining some experience for our land forces. So right now we're looking at Husqvarna. This is our infantry equipment. Um, we can do some heart attack and piercing, soft attack and reliability, and defense. I don't know if we're going to be doing defense, so let's go with reinforced stocks. It's going to be soft attack and reliability. And we'll keep moving on up with that one. So first, let's, let's see here. We've got enough factories devoted to our basic infantry equipment. Um, let's see. There's always room for artillery. And we could start working on Bofors as well. The Navy could be interesting, but that's going to be some more resources we have to throw that way. Um, hygienic housing. That, that one's intriguing to me. Uh, I like how it spreads. So if it's state by state spread like that, I'm thinking it would probably make sense to do that earlier rather than later. And let's see how our funding of uh, orgs is looking so far. Husqvarna is doing great. Uh, Landsberg is just kind of hanging out. We got Volvo and Scania Vabis not doing much. And then Bofors, um, they are getting some work right now. So their funding should increase. There we go. Two research pro projects fi uh, finished at once. I don't know if radio is the right way to go yet. Should probably stick with the more basic industrial ones for now. We're almost in 1937, so I can just go right for improved machine tools and keep that rolling. Now we've got our basic small airframe. I think that should level up Saab. Yep. So what do we have here? Production efficiency gain, max speed and agility. Both of these are max speed and agility. Am I, am I seeing that right? Interesting. They're the same. I'm just going to go with that. We'll go with the max speed and agility. And then... Um, We'll go with our heavy machine guns. Ah, that's actually kind of early for heavy machine guns. So, I don't want to eat that penalty. What else? What else should we, re we be researching? We can improve our artillery. And that's going to have better artillery for us to export now. Um, but we can start some plane production. And uh, first off, that is going to... What do we got? Just engine one. Oh, we don't have any experience points yet. Um, I'd like to start playing production so that we can start funding Saab uh, and get some funding moving their way for more upgrades. And also we can start building out fighter wings, get them trained up. Uh, even if it's with older planes, it'll just be good to have them. So we're gaining experience before we actually have to use them. Let's see. Um... I think we can actually... Can we sell ships, too? I don't know if I've actually looked at ships. Still not sure about the Landsverk. Uh, ah, let's go for it. We'll allow them to operate independently. And if or when we go to war with the Germans, we'll just eat it. Let's build another military factory over here. Oh, that's foreign territory. No wonder I can't build. Um, And then we do have another factory let's just start a tank production line we'll start getting that organization some work too um and build up our stock if we don't end up using those tanks i'm sure we can find somebody who'd be happy to take them off our hands for us we are now uh in ex have some excess uh guns we'll just sell them cheap this is some older stuff where we have uh newer infantry equipment 
There we go. Denmark. Denmark wants to buy our gear. Nothing interesting here for um, political appointees that we can bring on. Our military is just sitting tight. Let's get them training. Start to build up some experience. Oh, we can uh, start to play with our templates. So support anti-air is probably going to be important for us. Um, being that I don't know if we'll be able to have air superiority anywhere. Let's see. I'm just looking through these. Let's go attack. I feel like we should be... We should plan to be on the attack more than on defense. And who leveled up here? Landsberg. All right. So we got speed and reliability and defense. I am going to go with defense. And what is next? So we get some more stability or we get two military factories and a stability hit. Um, and this moves us toward democracy and communism, which if we do have to pick a direction, uh, I'm going to pick uh, communism. So I'm perfectly fine staying toward the middle if it looks like that's what's going to help us. Already got some tanks uh, moving through the market. Let's see, where do we have... I wonder if that's in decisions. Can we see where our... Um, what do we have here? What is this decision? Promote urbanization. All right, so when we get the hygienic housing policy, oh, we can, uh, that's interesting. So we can add four building slots. We can build really tall here as Sweden. And I know in past Sweden games, I have run out of building slots uh, fairly quickly. So having that option, that makes things really interesting. So with that um, advisor I just selected, that's going to be a huge bonus to our uh, intelligence. So I'm going to form an agency here. Um, it basically limits the, not limits, reduces the cost of uh, operatives. Oh, and of upgrades too. So it makes it um, more cost effective to have a strong intelligence agency. So here we have Beaufort, who is our um, artillery and anti-tank, anti-air designer. More breakthrough, more defense, soft and hard attack. That's only anti-tank and anti-air. Production efficiency. Big guns. That That's interesting. More soft attack. I think I'm going to go with that one. And what do we have next here? Um, still too early to go to that next level of artillery. It might be worth it to, uh, update some of our support companies. Oh yeah, especially here. Let's just go with support because we have that, um, bonus to use. Plus we have the, uh, the industrial organization. And here we go. More civilian factories more popularity toward communism and democracy. I think that's a, a good look for us. We've got seven factories going towards special projects and our um, civilian production is looking good. We're building quite the industrial might here. I'm just queuing up a few projects. I did queue up my first naval um, project. Let's see, is this going to be our latest... wonder if we need to do anything to nope we're good there and we got one more we'll just throw it on artillery i'm sure we'll we'll find a use for it so let's take a look at the market again um i don't know we've got some stuff we can sell something let's just sell some tanks and see if See if we've got any takers on the market. Who knows? We might get some interest. There we go. 
Ah, the Canadians. The famous Sweden to Canada tank pipeline. And then who is here? Cockums. This is our raiding fleet, right? Yeah. So we get speed and fuel usage or range and fuel usage. Either way, fuel usage. Range ideally won't be a uh, concern for the Swedish Navy. If we're operating out at range, something has gotten really weird. How are our divisions looking? Since we've got everyone here, let's just get them all to our standard template and then we'll work on that template from there. Um, sounds like the best template has changed a little bit. The ideal widths used to be, uh, was it 24, 25? Um, in the previous patch, now there's a sweet spot around 18 and a sweet spot around 24, but the exact um, ideal widths don't seem to match up with what they were previously. Uh, from what I read, which hasn't been a ton, but it does seem like there's a bit less of ideal meta designs in Arms Against Tyranny than there were in the previous patch. Just looking through my options here for uh, my army command. I like the uh, elevated engineering core because we can just dig in quickly. Um, and we almost always have engineers with our troops. So let's go with that. Let's go with elevated engineering core. And then for spy, Hungarian. This guy's got a lot of traits too, so we'll recruit him. What else can we add? Combined arms. So it's motorized and mech. I don't really use a lot of motorized and mech. Um, though maybe a Sweden being a little more uh, industry heavy and manpower light, it might make sense. Uh, usually I end up with infantry divisions with a heavy tank company to provide some armor. So now we're looking at Husqvarna again. Um, production efficiency gain. Bolt action semi-auto. This is some interesting stuff. Let's, let's just go with drum pattern sights here. And then we can... Um, yeah, so we've got that 3%. 5%. Uh, so we got some more upgraded uh, infantry equipment going there. For the next research, I don't know, should I keep going down that path? Um, what is the difference here? So this is an early truck, but this is what mo enables motorized infantry. Um, we're at June 1937. So too early for that. Radio could be interesting. Air, probably not yet uh, for us. Oh, we can do the uh, engines. Definitely want to do the engines. I think that's a good spot. So we've got affordable housing. And that's going to continue working on our economy here. But radio focuses are interesting. Um, so what do we need to form the Nordic Council? So we need to be allied with any of the other Nordic countries. So this is going to upgrade Beaufort. Let's get, let's get some Navy going. Uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll end up needing that. If nothing else, I just want to be able to control the Baltic. Um, ideally, it would be fun to be able to then, uh, hypothetically, if we were to um, join the common turn or ally with them, we could then use our Navy to take on Britain. Definitely a challenge, but it could be fun to do. So with our operatives... I think we should just start uh, building a network in Germany. I'm not sure exactly what I want with that yet, but I'm, it'll probably be helpful. Um, start doing some upgrades here. First, let's go with um, the army department just to get a sense of what they're doing. Start building some 
intel there. Now Japan has gone to war. U.S. passes the Neutrality Act. Let's at least get one unit of convoys going or one uh, production line. I like having lots of destroyers, but we'll need convoys too. So how do our does our fleet look? Let's see what we've actually got. This is a weird, weird setup. I'm just going to merge them all into the reserve for now. And see. Um, let's create a new one. Let's just get all of our subs out. Where is that button? Yeah. Oh, there we go. So we've got all subs here. I'll just flip this to a submarine icon. And then this is our other fleet. Um, I don't know if it's really worth having a separate patrol fleet right now, given how small our Navy is. But let's at least get them exercising. And we've got some decent commanders here. We've got a battleship adherent. Gentlemanly. Interesting. He's at least got some solid traits. I'll leave that for now. I don't I don't want to waste any uh, more power on those traits. All right, there we go. We've got our naval focus. We also had our uh, engine development go. Anything new we can do with these subs? Anything? Yeah, we can throw some better torpedo tubes on them. Upgrade engines. If only we had naval experience. So I'll start working on that one. Um, let's see, nothing we can do in the air. Nothing we can do on industry yet. Probably should just start doing some basic naval research and getting moving that direction. So we got ship repair speed, another dockyard. Midget submarine hull, that could be fun. Um, got some dockyard stuff. The second industrial revolution, that could push us in some interesting ways. Now, the Swedish Volunteer Corps. We don't... That would put us against the Soviets, who we actually want to be friends with. Um, now, we need to... We're going to do the Allen question. I think that's what I want to do. Just reading through these. Um, you know, we could change this up. And I was thinking of going Soviet, but let's try the Nordic Defense Council. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do the old enemy stirs. Um, and we can go with our own kind of democratic push toward that. So let's try it. I have no idea how this is actually going to play out. Could result in me getting absolutely wrecked by the Soviets. Or it could be fun. Or getting wrecked by the Soviets could be fun. One way to find out. Or actually wrecked by the Germans. That might be more likely and uh, immediate. Maybe, just maybe, if we play this right, uh, we'll have the, the power to stand up to the Germans and at least hold them off. Um... With our navy, there's a chance that we could uh, prevent any naval invasions, and then we've got a real slim uh, land corridor that they could actually come through. They might be able to get to Norway, but attacking Sweden from Norway would be difficult with the terrain. Um, and we might be able to just hold them off. So, tanks. Um, we are producing some tanks. Might be worth it to start upgrading our light tanks. And now we can do a Chief of Air Force. I imagine all weather is going to be important here. Given where we are, there's going to be bad weather. So not having that penalty uh, will be quite helpful. We will need more manpower. That's just how it's going to be. 
And maybe uh, some infrastructure here would be good as well, especially in these states that have a ton of resources. Can you tell the devs are Swedish? Look how many resources there are there. Not that Swedish resources weren't uh, important in World War II, but there's just a ton. Throw a little more production capacity at support equipment. There we go. We got the old enemy stirs. And Nordic Defense Council. We need some war support. So let me see how we can get some... Um... Let's see, we can do the Swedish Volunteer Corps. It's not time yet. We need to start getting some uh, war support going. So I'm not sure what the best way to go about that is. Maybe it's not time for that yet. We got democracy support, stability research speed. I think state paid vacation looks much better here. Let's go with radio. I think that one is going to help us out. So for fac um, focuses here, mass assault is definitely not where we're going to go. Unless recruitable population 5%, that could be interesting. Um... But if we go mobile warfare, there's one of these in, yeah, desperate defense, this path. Um, we get uh, 3% recruitable population, get another 2% there. So what that could do, you know, mobile warfare might be the ideal way for us. Maybe I'm getting way ahead of myself here. But there's a reasonable chance for us to mechanize um, just given that our industrial capacity is going to outstrip um, the manpower we have I've got to do, start doing some research to move that way and I'm hoping I have time for that before we actually go to war and there we go selling stuff to the Danes Let's stop these naval exercises before we run out of fuel. And what have we here? One of each. Let's send our destroyer to that fleet and the submarine to the subfleet. Keep pushing for the resource gain. Officer Corps, what do we have? Some high command combined arms again. Um, might actually end up taking that one now that I'm thinking about motorized or mechanized. But even with that, we'll still need, um, we'll still need regular line infantry just to hold the line. We need radio to start using radio propaganda. Okay, that makes, that actually makes a lot of sense. Are we researching radio yet? Nope, not yet. It's going to be a while. All the focuses I've looked looked for so far um, haven't seen any research slots. Let's see. Um, so that's a research slot. What do we have? Building slot. Building slot. What do we need here? Okay. So I'm definitely going to go to that one. Building slot. These are all building slots. This is a pretty cool and broad research tree. And we can get down to this Royal Institute of Technology pretty quick too, I think. So we've got a couple options there for research. So let's see how this is affecting our production. We have factory output and maybe it's going here is that where our um I don't see anything there maybe it's just not listed uh, do we sell stuff to the Italians yeah we'll sell stuff to the Italians
All right, now we have uh, another focus available. And we'll upgrade this Bowforce Fly Swatter because that's going to set us up with some other great focuses we can get at. 